8School is an Android app that's developed by Martin Lauren, found on the Google Play Store, and I've been hooked for about six years, going all the way back to release number 64. Have a look in the top corner here. We're at 406. So imagine all of the features that were added over that period, and the latest is a biggie. Martin added another capture mode to HSCOPE. We already had two, which now makes three, and in this brief tutorial, I'm going to go over them. Scope mode is what we get with the HSCOPE license for our supported oscilloscope. The main thing to remember about scope mode is that we get one page. A page is the scope's buffer. It can range from like 1,000 points on some models, maybe 8,000. And the HS502 that I'm connected to right now has a generous 32,000 points on a page. Once those 32,000 points are used, we have a full page. The sweep continues, overwrites those points, and we get another page. The thing to remember about 8 scopes scope mode is that we do not save sequential pages. You work with one page. How far those 32,000 points go depends on the sample rate that we choose. If we have a high sample rate, we're going to use up 32,000 points quickly and we're going to have a very short duration capture. If we have a lower sample rate, those 32,000 points will go a little further and our capture will span over a longer duration. So it looks like this, right? At 150 kilo samples per second and the sweep continues, rewrites the page, the sweep continues, rewrites the page and uh, you can stop it at any time and there is one page of capture in front of us. Probably the most powerful use of scope mode in that single page is the single trigger method. Right? So we enter it here, position our trigger, and when the condition is met, the capture will take place. And notice at the bottom of the page where it says sweep lock, that means that the sweep is on pause and that our points will not get overridden and that our event remains on the screen. It remains on that page. That page can be saved, but it's the only page in scope mode that can be saved. There is an optional automotive module license within HScope for which we can purchase a license. It offers us automotive capture mode. And what that is, is a full-time stream, continuous, no page boundaries, with an extremely large buffer, as you can see here. That's recording right now. I'll stop it. Now, look at how many pages there would be on here, right? Continuous. It could go on for a long time, a couple of minutes, depending on if you're in a higher sample rate, to a couple of hours of capture possible if you're on a lower sample rate. So why was it not called a streaming module instead of automotive module, which what it does is stream? Well, if you look at the available sample rates, right, most uh, supported oscilloscopes within HScope will top out at 125 kilo samples per second. Now the HS502 that I'm connected to on a single channel tops out at 600 kilo samples per second, like it outperforms everything else, right? But that's still limited. And it turns out that automotive work is low frequency work. So this limit uh, still works very well in automotive uh, type work. Hence, why it was called Automotive Module. And that brings us to the latest capture mode that Martin just added to HScope. 
automotive pages. You remember how the automotive capture mode restricted us to the sample rates and that there were sample rates above 600 that were not available to us in automotive mode. With this new feature, if we select one of these white ones here that are beyond the conventional automotive mode capture rates, let's put 1200 here, which is like 1.2 mega samples per second, right? That puts us into this new automotive pages capture mode. So let's record, start. If you see right below that stop, you see that it says that we have a record limit of 2,544 pages. Huge buffer, right? Let's stop the recording. And let's scroll across. And we got 129 pages here, okay? Do you see how neat also how we scroll through all of these pages? on the screen. Typical oscilloscope software doesn't allow that. You're going to index like to the next page and the previous and, and back and forth without seeing it until you go there. Here we get to see all of these pages like that. Very, very cool. There's something else that's kind of interesting when you're able to view pages like this and that is that we see the boundaries. So you remember how important it was with the uh, automotive mode that it was a stream and there were no page boundaries. Here uh, we see that there are boundaries, right? There are gaps for between pages where there's a period of time that there is no capture there, there's no information there. Okay? Now this takes place in all these other oscilloscope software as well. You just don't get to see it like this, right? Because you go one page and the next page, it's not as obvious that there was a gap between these pages. But uh, the way HScope is able to put that on the screen for us, uh, we see that. It's all very nice. It allows us to use the higher sample rates of the oscilloscope and not be restricted to a single page as we were in scope mode. So you remember my saying that automotive work for the most part is low frequency work? But there are exceptions to that, and uh, one of them is uh, CAN bus work. Uh, that uh, is quite fast. And uh, prior to this new feature with HScope, uh, we kind of struggled with that. Because if you were in scope mode, which allowed us to have the higher sample rates that you would need to do uh, good uh, CAN bus work, um, having just that one screen and each sweep refreshing the screen, you'd get the CAN signal just flash before your eyes, right? A little bit hard to see uh, if everything was good. And if you went into the automotive capture mode, then you were restricted to, uh, like in some scopes, you just had 125 kilo samples per second, which was not quite enough fast uh, sample rate to get detail of the CAN bus. This latest feature, the automotive pages, solves that. So let me enter history here. I have on my Ford Fusion uh, captured a CAN bus thing and it's saved here. So let's uh, call it up and have a look. I'll zoom in a little bit. And now you can see this was at uh, 4.8 mega sample per second, okay? And we can go between pages and we have the detail that we would want in Canvas work. It's a really nice addition to HScope, this latest feature. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you soon.